Logical Theory of Information by Robert Johansson. The Technical Definition of Information. The engineers <coughs> at Bell Labs developed a simple definition of information. Information is a message selected from a set of possible messages. Thus, for example, if we have a number of possible messages, for example, the alphabet. If we pick one of those messages, say the M, then that is information. It is the message chosen. The basic unit of choice is the binary choice, either or. This choice is the basis of Boolean logic. It is symbolized by the Venn diagram, where the choice is represented by a line separating the X from the not X. It can also be used to diagram the syllogisms in traditional Aristotelian categorical logic. Thus, you have the circle, inside the circle is x, outside of the circle is not x. Thus, you have the basic binary choice. Information and systems. In physics, a system is defined by this basic binary choice. A boundary is an imaginary line that separates the universe into the system and its environment. In other words, systems are a function of information. The binary code. <coughs> Since the binary choice is the basic choice, any complex choice can be coded as a series of binary choices, usually symbolized by zero and one. You can calculate the number of binary digits, or bits, needed to code a set of possibilities by taking the logarithm to the base 2 of the number of possibilities. Thus, with 26 letters and a space, we get log to the base 2 of 27, which is equal to 5 bits. Thus, using the binary either-or as our basic unit of information, we can count the amount of information by counting the number of bits it takes to code it. Thus, A equals 0000, zero, zero, zero B equals 0001, zero, 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 C equals 0010, zero, 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 etc. This is the basis of modern computing, where the computer is a chip with transistors that can be used as a gate, either open or closed. Thus, the binary code becomes a series of transistor positions. Computers are programmed with Boolean logic. Communication as translation. Since information is choice within a set, communication consists of translating choices in one set of possibilities into choices in another set. In other words, coding. Thus, for example, you choose your ideas from the ideas in your mind. You then translate that into a choice of words from the words in your vocabulary. You then translate those words into sounds, which is what we hear. Then you translate those. When I hear someone else's sounds, I translate them into words a choice of words, which hopefully is then translated into a choice of ideas. Or another example, the choice of words is translated into the choice of letters of the alphabet, which is translated into the choice of Morse code, which is translated into electrical pulses, which then at the other end of the telegraph line is translated into a choice of clicks on the little clicker. Although information consists of choices in a set and has no meaning as such, the meaning is in the reference. Thus, the map is not the territory, but the territory is the meaning 
of the map. Thus the clicks mean electrical pulses, which mean Morse code, which mean letters, which mean words, which mean ideas. Plausibilities and probabilities. Since both information and statistical probabilities are calculated from a set of possibilities, there is often confusion about the difference. Some people even think of information as a probability function. The difference is that information is measured in bits and probabilities are measured in fractions. Thus, a coin has two possibilities, heads or tails. Looked at in terms of probabilities, the probability of it turning up heads is 1 out of 2, or 0.5, and the probability of it turning up tails is also 1 out of 2, or 0.5. Probabilities are a fraction. On the other hand, information, we can code the head with a 1 and the tail with a 0, which makes 1 bit. Information is measured in bits.